everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing very very well today i am showing you my updated list of the top five high-end um foundations now i did this about a year ago it was right when i started my youtube channel so um some of them may have not changed but i'm sure a few have now it was really difficult to narrow down it just to five so I apologize if I've missed out a few that I've used in the last year um, and I absolutely love but to be honest it was really difficult <laughs> now they are not in any order whatsoever I'm literally just randomly picking them from my lap anyway so the first one that I want to mention oh it's just it it it's a dream in a bottle i absolutely love this and i could i would use it every single day if i could only because it's so expensive i don't want to use it every single day um and it's this beautiful beautiful thing it's the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation oh this is luxury in a bottle the color i have is 3.5 it comes in a glass bottle with a plastic lid which has we have a monogram on in the front um, it comes with a pump this is now I would say this is about medium to slightly high coverage I don't use a lot of high coverage foundations obviously I don't think anyone does on, on a daily basis but this one literally has a luminosity about it every single time I use it People ask me what's on my face. Are they either think, think that I'm doing like a really good, you know, skincare routine? I am not. I'm the laziest person in this world, I promise you. Um, but this gives a beautiful finish to your face. It makes it look luminous. It gives you, it fills in all your pores. You look airbrush. It photographs really, really well. And it's just one of my absolutely favorite ones so far. So, um, yeah, Giorgio Mani thumbs up for me the next one i have again is one of my favorites which is why it's in my top five but i don't usually use this as a foundation per se only because it has a very sheer coverage so i use this as a primer or like a base for my foundation um but it is definitely a foundation people do use it and it's this so this is the charlotte tilbury white lunder foundation white lunder light wonder for god's sake um it's a youth boosting perfect skin foundation in sp15 i have the color for fair now this one is literally run out so you have to shake this it's very very liquidy when you put it on your face i just use my fingers to blend this in when you put this on your face it it lips literally gives you a lit with within a lit from within look god i can't speak today um it is very plastic it's all plastic but it's very easy to carry it's slim it's very light and you only need a tiny bit you can build this up but it's not going to be full coverage it's not even going to be medium coverage to be honest it's going to be somewhere between sheer to light stroke medium i don't know how to explain that the next one i have is I think a firm favorite for quite a lot of people this is not very high-end but it is definitely not drugstore um, and it's the Mac face and body uh, which is looking very grim my god that is disgusting it's not a new one for anyone um, whoever has the slight incline to makeup has used this some somewhere sometime somehow um, the colour I have is N1, again nothing different, my nozzle is looking very very dirty, I apologise in advance. This is again a very beautiful um, foundation, it's sheer but it's buildable to about medium coverage. Um, I again use my fingers to put this on, it literally blends into your skin and it feels like skin, you can't feel it on your face at, at all. Um, and obviously it's face and body so you can absolutely use this on your body if you're wearing like if you've got some scars on your on your um, legs or on your shoulders or arms, you can definitely definitely put some of this on to cover any you know um, acne star scars or anything that you don't want to show. Right, so the next one I have is um, has been on my list for a very long time. I don't use it very often, um, only because I tend to reach 
out to more of the other ones but this is definitely one of my favorites and the only reason why i don't carry it with myself like with traveling is only because it doesn't have a pump and that's my fault um and it's this so this is the nars sheer glow again um it's a glass bottle a big chunky lid and then i don't have a pump that's the only problem which is why i don't actually carry it around um my bottle everywhere because it's quite chunky and i just it's just too messy when you're traveling the color i have is light four now this foundation is not sheer it says it's sheer glow it is absolutely not sheer, sheer at all it is from medium to i would say higher medium bordering on full but it's definitely not sheer you can obviously sheer it out by applying a slightly less amount on your face but by no means is this sheer so please don't get confused by the by the name i initially did and then i realized it's not sheer um this gives again a very glowy finish um it is not um oily and it's not it won't make you shiny it does dry down to i would say about a slightly tacky finish so i do definitely you do have to powder it to make it um less tacky and stay you know on the face for a very long time um the longevity of this is really really good although it's they say it's you know it's sheer it's not sheer as i have mentioned before um it's just yeah it's i think it's an it's an all-rounder good foundation uh people who have used this um swear by this they keep going back to this i do have another one from nars which is the matte version of this and to be honest between the two i would definitely go with this one um only because it's more comfortable to wear and i'm not a huge fan of matte foundations which is funny because my fifth one is <laughs> so yeah um really really good foundation great for everyday use as well actually and um yeah i really like this now my fifth and final one um as i have mentioned before is um a matte foundation now this is a long wear full coverage foundation this is the most full coverage foundation i own um and i have mentioned this quite a few times on my channel and it's the sd lauder double wear stay in place foundation um it is a tiny bottle but let me tell you you don't need a lot so it comes a really nice small really beautiful glass frosted bottle and then it comes with um a gold cap and then it doesn't have a pump in it but to be honest i really don't mind because it is a fabulous fabulous foundation it does have a slight scent to it but i don't really mind that to be honest i really really i do like that again you don't need a lot i've had this for a long time and i have used it i use this on my reception day as well on my wedding day and it photographs really really well it's absolutely full coverage you can use your fingers to put this on and i say i know a lot of people say well full coverage foundations so you can't really put on with your fingers this you absolutely can you just take a few uh take a drop on your hand Put it on your face and blend it with your with your fingers and you can absolutely build it up and the really funny thing is that it's full coverage but you cannot feel it on your skin it is magic in a bottle i don't know how they did this it is so lightweight so high coverage but you cannot detect it on your face i have worn this for i think a straight of 16 hours i will say and it did not budge did not crease um, I did not get, I usually get oily around my nose and my chin area, didn't happen at all and I was just amazed. So this little tiny thing is just love in a bottle. And those were all my high end foundations for you. If you would like a drugstore version, please let me know and I will definitely, definitely do that for you. Um, I'm hoping to do a few more of my uh, favourite fives this year. So please stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.